Last week, while you were being force-fed LeBron hype by douchers like Shannon Sharp, 25 other players accomplished as much or more. And that's only looking at a seven-day period. This is LeBrainwashed. It's Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. I am Angry Old Hoops Fan. Welcome to another episode of LeBrainwashed. I'm trying to enjoy watching Steph Curry break the three-point record, and I'm going through YouTube, and it's everything about LeBron James scored 30 points. Holy crap, LeBron James scored 30 points. Okay, it's not that LeBron James can't play basketball and that he isn't a decent basketball player. It's that you're being made to believe that he's doing something unbelievable. This is a new era of the NBA. 30 points is normal, and I'm about to prove it to you. Let's start with tonight and just look at what players are accomplishing across the league compared to LeBron's legendary night. So right off the bat, we have Kevin Durant surpassing LeBron James. 34 points in a triple-double, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists. He also had a block and was 8 for 8 from the line. Perfect free throws. Unlike the so-called king, who is so mentally weak, he can't even make his free throws. Same day, same game even, Van Vliet had 31 points. You remember Van Vliet, very fleetingly, that one season, sort of. Kind of. Maybe you remember Van Vliet. Well, he outscored the GOAT. Same day still. Still looking at the 14th of December. Julius Randle, 31 points. Damian Lillard, 31 points. So far, just today, the day I decided to do this analysis, I've already found four players who did what the GOAT did. The only difference is that the GOAT is being heralded across the news and YouTube as if he did something special by LeBoners like Shannon Sharp and Jay Williams, who clearly have a vested interest in making LeBron James seem better than he is. Again, I'm not saying that LeBron James can't play basketball. He's perfectly average. What I'm getting at is the clear effort to make all of you weak-minded followers out there think he is something that he isn't. Oh shit, I forgot Patty Mills. Patty Mills also had 30 points. So thus far, I've already got five NBA players who did what LeBron did. And I've only looked at today because this is the day I started looking. And I can't look into the future tomorrow for scores. So from here out, let's go backward a few days. All right, going backward, our first step is December 13th. Sabonis, 30 points. Fox on the Kings, 29 points. Not quite 30. Going to mention him anyway. Eric Gordon, 32 points. Trey Young, 41 points. And he's small. He actually has to earn his points. Jason Tatum, same day, 42 points. 42 points. And yet, all I'm seeing on the web is LeBron James. That same day, Jokic, 28 points. Two points short, but look at his rebounds. 19 rebounds? 19 rebounds? And nine assists. Now, before I go to December 12th and continue analyzing, I want to share some other interesting stats with you. First, about the 30 point thing. Like I already said, things are different now. Scoring 30 points isn't that crazy. Back when Michael was doing it, it was unheard of, and he was doing 50 points on the regular. But I don't want to go down the Michael Jordan rabbit hole. That's not my intention. We're looking at today and how common it is today. This season, so far, a very young season, Trey Young and Kevin Durant are tied for the most games with 30 plus points. 12 games each. Already. 12 games each. They've both had 30 plus points each. But that's not all. 25 players this season, 25 just in this young season have already had 30 point games. So what the hell are we celebrating with someone who's supposed to be the GOAT doing what everyone else is doing? 
only less often. Okay, back to just the recent day's analysis. We are now on Sunday, December 12th. There he is again, Kevin Durant, 51 points, 51 points, seven rebounds, nine assists. Okay, not quite a triple-double, pretty darn close, 51 points, and all we're hearing about are LeBron's 30 points that same day. Kevin Durant got 51, LeBron got 30. Everything is about LeBron. You are being LeBrainwashed. Continuing on that same day, the 12th, Brandon Ingram got 27 points, three points of 30, three points less than the king, LeBron James. And Brandon Ingram wasn't good enough to be on LeBron's team. Remember, he didn't have any help, but now he's a starter on another team scoring 27 points. Not worth mentioning because you're being LeBrainwashed. So on that same day, in the same game that LeBron got 30 points and got his triple-double, barely. You know, he got, what, 10? 10, 10 assists? He had six turnovers. Six turnovers. Anyone called the GOAT shouldn't have six turnovers. And it's not unusual for him. But the other stat I want to show you is that he either has zero offensive rebounds or, in this case, one which is a big night for him to have one offensive rebound. You prove your worth when you get offensive rebounds. Now, considering that LeBron barely gets across half court most of the time, of course he's not getting offensive rebounds. So then how does he get 30 points, you're saying? I'm gonna show you next episode. But first, we gotta finish this episode. So now we're going to December 11th, on which day Zach Levine had 33 points. Embiid only had 26 points, four short of the amazing feat accomplished by the GOAT. And Jokic, 35 points, 17 rebounds, eight assists. Holy crap. Jokic is crazy. Why are we talking about him more? Jokic also had two blocks and a steal. Continuing to rewind, we are now on December 10th. Darren Fox. 31 points, a dude I admittedly am quite unfamiliar with, is doing what the GOAT is doing. Doncic, his fat ass had 27 points. It's not 30, but... <laughs> Kevin Durant, another 31 points. Trey Young, another 31 points. This is on another day that LeBron was heralded for one of his 30-point games. Uh, Giannis, 41 points, 41 points on the day that everyone was talking about uh, LeBron 30-point game. There's Ingram again, 26 points only. <sighs> Couple short of the guy who didn't think he was good enough for him. So LeBron did not get a triple-double. He got his 33 points. Why did watching Steph Curry make me think about LeBron James? Because I'm watching how hard Steph Curry has to work to get open and to get his points and his magic getting to the rim and moving off the ball. And that is not what happens with LeBron James. LeBron James stands around waiting with people barely guarding him until the ball comes to him. His team is a distraction leaving him wide open. That is not the GOAT. That's not even the most dangerous person on the team. Anyway, I'm always getting sidetracked. I analyze all that in a different episode. As long as we're talking about triple doubles, let me throw some other interesting stats at you. Because LeBron's triple doubles, like everything else, are blown out of proportion. <sighs> Again, let's compare how much the game has changed. If we go back to 1997, there were only 50 triple doubles total in the league. In the 2020-2021 season, there were 142 triple-doubles. 142! The so-called GOAT only had five of 142. How can a GOAT only have five of 142 triple-doubles? 28 different players had at least one triple-double. That doesn't make 
LeBron James special in this day and age. Westbrook led the league last season with 38. 38 triple doubles in one season. LeBron for his career has 35. He is three short of what Westbrook did in one season. A season versus a career, and yet LeBron is the GOAT. And Westbrook, now that he's on LeBron's team, suddenly isn't good, suddenly isn't helpful. How many players we heard that about every time that they are amazing somewhere else and join LeBron, he doesn't have any help. Maybe, just maybe the problem lies elsewhere. All right, I'm, I'm getting tired of this. Let's just do one more day. We're almost a full week now. Let's do Wednesday the 8th. Joel Embiid had 32 points. Gordon Hayward had 31 points. Same game. Kuzma, 26 points, four short of the king. Uh, another guy who wasn't good enough to play for uh, LeBron, but is now great. Caleb Martin, 28 points, two short of the king. The king. Donovan Mitchell had 36 points that day. Jokic, 39. Another triple-double for Jokic. 39 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. Cole Anthony for Orlando, 33 points. To Aaron Fox, Sacramento, 33 points. Jason Tatum, only 29 points. Just not quite the GOAT. Okay, so Tuesday the 7th will give us a full week of analysis. There were only three games that day, but Doncic was only two points short of 30. Uh, RJ Barrett got 32. Jason Tatum had 34 points and LeBron had 30. But Jason Tatum had 34 points, eight rebounds, and three assists. LeBron James had 30 points, only four rebounds, and five assists. Seems to me that Jason Tatum deserves the spotlight as much as the GOAT. But when your eyes will really start to open up is when you look at how LeBron gets his points compared to how other NBA players have to get their points.